Building enough layers in art really helps to produce hyper-realistic details and this is what only few artists pay attention to when drawing. To become a very good hyper-realistic artist, I would advise you take your layers seriously. Now in this video, we are going to talk about layers in art and how it helps in detailing. Now the question is, how do we shade in layers? Layer simply means covering the surface or a body of something multiple times. Now before you start shading, first step is to get yourself a makeup brush or any other soft large brush. After getting any of these brushes, first dip it into your powder and use it on the entire work as the initial layer. What it does is that, apart from it being your first coat, it also seals the pores of the paper, reducing the texture of the paper if the surface is too rough. Now what I do is that, if I use graphite as my first layer, my second layer will be charcoal. I repeat this process gradually till I'm satisfied with my layers, then I move on to do the details. There are two ways to combine both charcoal and graphite powder together before using. This is just an introduction of it. I will prepare a full video on how to combine charcoal and graphite before shading with it. The reason why I mostly enjoy using this method to shade is that using the charcoal and the graphite together leaves me certain shiny effects and as well as the dark tone that I need. But note, if you are a charcoal or a graphite artist, this doesn't prevent you from sticking to your medium. You can still use this method to achieve similar results. Just be careful of how you apply your powder. Make sure you remove the excess powder from the bristle of the brush and apply it gradually till the desired tool is achieved. Please take your time and build your layers before adding any other details. In my next video, we are going to talk more about the detailing, the step-by-step -step to produce hyper-realistic drawings. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. And don't forget to hit the like button as well. You can also share your work with me for any advice in my Facebook group. All you need to do is to tag logo art class in any of your posts. We will also share the link in the description of this video. Follow to join us.